With the 4th of July only a couple of days away, local animal shelters are trying to find pets new homes. The Elizabethan Carter County Animal Shelter is having a special after hours adoption event to clear the shelter before the 4th. News Channel 11's Karen Jenkins tells us why the push for new homes before the holiday. Yes, this adoption event is happening right now until 7 o'clock. It's a chance to take home a new family member like this guy and help out the shelter who expects a large influx of lost dogs after the holiday. The Elizabethan Carter County Animal Shelter is already at capacity. There's about 60 dogs and puppies needing a home, but with the 4th of July just days away, the staff knows they'll get more dogs soon. And that's because some of them are so frightened by the fireworks and they just get really scared and so they run off um, into other people's property or homes and that's where we get our biggest intake. It's just um, them getting scared and running off. A local vet says it's true because dogs are extra sensitive to lights and sound. The fireworks can spook any dog and cause them to bolt. The most important thing you can do is keep them inside as much as possible. Um, even pets that are familiar with their yards or homes, they will, a lot of them will still run. Dr. Fogg says there are things you can do to keep your pets safe during the fireworks. Take them on their walk or bathroom break early before the fireworks begin. Ask your vet for some calming medications. Provide a safe, quiet space in your home and maybe use a thunder shirt or a sweater or even put a blanket over them to make them feel safe. Despite precautions, though, pets still get lost after the 4th and end up at the shelter. To make room for those lost dogs, the shelter has cut the adoption fee from $60 to just $25, and the shelter will stay open tonight till 7 p.m. If you can't make it out to tonight's event, the shelter is open regular hours tomorrow. They'll be closed on the 4th, but they'll be open again on Friday because it's one of the busiest days of their year. Reporting in Elizabethan, I'm Karen Jenkins, News Channel 11.